you've driven between Baton Rouge and New Orleans down Interstate 10 or Airline Highway, you know where we are. We're in the Blind River in the middle of the Marpaw Swamp. This is a place where one of the largest coastal restoration projects in Louisiana history is going to take place using money from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill that took place 10 years ago. The Maurepaw Swamp has been culturally important for generations to the people who live between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. There was a time when this was a world-class place to go duck hunting. People grew up hunting here, deer hunting, duck hunting, fishing, commercial fishing. But in the last 40 to 50 years, this area has started to fall apart. This is a place that I grew up duck hunting and I've seen the changes. And I know there's a lot of folks who feel that way about this place and they really want to see it brought back to life to that world-class hunting and fishing place it used to be. So the challenge for a lot of fishermen is, let's go find some clear water. But here in the swamp, clear water doesn't mean fish. A lot of times it means the water doesn't have oxygen in it. This black clear water coming out of the swamp is low on oxygen, which means it doesn't have fish, it doesn't have crawfish, it doesn't have that food supply. What the diversion will do is put a little bit dirtier water in this system, but it'll have oxygen in it and it'll have fish. And that's in part what this project is designed to do. Instead of the annual floods coming out of the Mississippi River that would supply this area with fresh water and nutrients, what you see now is rainwater, you see tidal influence, you see storm surges from tropical storms and hurricanes, and you see saltwater intrusion coming way up into this swamp. And that has led to the dying off of a lot of the native vegetation that has been here for centuries. Coastal swamps take a long time to die. Um, unhealthy cypress trees might just look like trees, they don't disappear instantaneously. So over the past hundred years, this swamp has been um, becoming more unhealthy. Some of the trees have died. Some of, some of the areas turned to open marsh, but it's in dire need of being restored. And we're gonna do this by reconnecting the river. The Mississippi River is just five miles away and reconnecting the river to the swamp. It's gonna restore ecosystem form and function to what it should be. The river is gonna provide fresh water, nutrients, fine sediments and a flushing effect. And all those things are gonna to act to make the swamp healthy once again. That diversion is gonna help mimic those annual floods that would have brought that fresh oxygenated water and that nutrients back into this swamp. It's also gonna supercharge this area with life. You'll see almost an immediate increase in bird life, fish activity, bass, bluegill, catfish, all the things that anglers in this area like to catch will come back into this area with that infusion of life from the Mississippi River. It's not one of these massive large scale diversions like you're gonna see downriver to move a lot of sediment. What this is designed to do is put fresh oxygenated water back into this system, break up a lot of the invasive species and bring this habitat back. A swamp, just like many of our other wetlands, offers uh, benefits for storm protection. A healthy swamp with bigger trees and, uh, and healthy vegetation goes a long way in protecting against uh, storm events. As a swamp dies, it converts to open marsh, which isn't as effective in, in storm protection. This project is being designed in conjunction with a levee system that's going to protect the communities between Baton Rouge and New Orleans from storm surge flooding from hurricanes. It's designed to work in concert using a lot of the same physical structures that will help relieve some of that hurricane pressure. State officials expect construction to start around 2022 on this very important project, utilizing fines that came directly from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. We're projecting the projects to come online around 2025. It's going to be a gated structure with a maximum capacity of 2,000 cubic feet per second. And we're going to operate it when science tells us the swamp needs the water. For example, on a really dry year, we may run it more than a year with a lot of rainfall. Some of the project features, in addition to the channel going from the, the river to the swamp, include features inside the swamp to make sure the water is retained long enough to benefit the swamp. These are things like gapping spoil embankments and low level weirs on bayous to make sure the water from the river stays in there long enough for the swamp to benefit from the nutrients and fine sediments that it needs. Just like all the other coastal restoration projects in Louisiana, this one is designed to better protect our communities bring back our hunting and fishing opportunities and really make this sportsman's paradise.